let them sing of their primrose and cowslip, their daffodil gold-colored hair, their bluebells, blue eyes, and white violets, all the pale dreamy things they find fair, give me stir of brown leaves in the sunshine, the whir of brown wings through the wheat, the rush of brown hairs through the clover, and the light in brown eyes of my sweet. Gold hair? Well, I never could love it, yet gold, I suppose, has its worth. The head that I love is as dusky as the breast of our mother, the earth, with a gleam like the shine of wet seaweed, round pools that the tide has left clear, and warm like the breast of a linnet, and as brown, is the hair of my dear. From the edge of the cliff we look downwards on the shore, and the bay, and the town, and brown is the short turf we lean on, the fishing boat's sails are all brown, the sky may be blue that's the background, but the picture itself, to be fair however it's shaded and varied, should be brown as the dress that you wear. A lark bursts to sudden sweet singing that tuft of brown grass is his home and now, a brown speck, he is rising against the clear windy sky dome, and he sings how I know. Love instructs me to know all his notes, what they mean that it isn't the color I care for, but yourself, oh, my gypsy, my queen, ah! The lark knows my heart I his language. It's my heart he sings out to the skies, it is you that I love, and what matter the color of hair or of eyes. No doubt I should love you as dearly were your hair like an apricot's down, and your eyes like the gray of the morning, but I'm glad, all the same, that they're brown.